Hey guys, more Logic Tips. We've got Logic 11 on a Mac Studio now and here's my first of the new Logic Tips. How to use the Mastering Assistant plugin on any channel you want. Everyone says you can't do it. Well, you can use it on any channel. You can, right? Well, watch me now. Okay, so here's my session in Logic. I've got the Session Player Piano, the Session Player Bass and the Session Player Percussionist all making a little bit of music going through the final output here and they are going through the mastering assistant. It has analyzed this EQ curve for the whole mix and it sounds like this. Okay, so you get the final channel, go to the settings slot at the top, copy channel strip setting, that copies the mastering assistant plugin. And now if I go to like I've got three group buses here. My session player, piano, bass and drums are all going to their own group bus. So group bus, bus, this is a bus channel. Setting slot at the top, paste plugin only and it pastes in the mastering processor. This is the group bus for the bass. Setting slot at the top, paste plugin only. This is the group bus for the drums, percussion. Setting slot at the top, paste plugin only. Now we've got the mastering assistant copied from the final channel and pasted into the three group buses for the three independent instruments. Now one thing to bear in mind, you copied the mastering assistant from the final master channel and it will retain that EQ curve that it analysed for the full mix on the final output channel and then when you paste it into something like a group bus or anything else here for example on the piano, when you open it, it's still got that same EQ curve it analysed from the final output because it copies and pastes that over. So you just have to reanalyze. So now we're going to reanalyze this mastering assistant plugin but on the bus for the piano only. So now it's going to analyze the just the piano. Right? And you get a completely different EQ curve because that is the EQ curve that it's analysed for just the piano. Now we'll turn the mastering assistant off on the final channel. Now we're just listening to the piano group bus going through this mastering assistant with a completely different EQ curve. Here we go. And sure enough, you can hear it's working. Uh, on the bass track, okay, we'll solo that. This is the bass uh, group bus, rather. And again, it's pasted in with the EQ curve from the final output. So we'll reanalyze and now it's going to analyze just the bass content coming through this group bus and we'll get a different EQ curve again. There it is, different, and it sounds like this. Yeah, and for the percussion group bus, open it up, reanalyze for the percussion, and we get a different EQ curve again like that and it sounds like this with the percussion yeah and that's how you do it you just copy it from the master channel and paste it into any other channel you can paste it into an instrument track channel but and it will retain the instrument and it will retain the auxiliary sense but if you, you paste it into any channel no matter what type it is that has plugins the plugin uh, effects will be removed but any instrument and any auxiliary sends will always remain. So setting slot at the top of this instrument channel, paste plugins only, there it is. Audio track, setting slot at the top, paste plugins only, there it is. And even on one of these um, session player instrument channels, setting slot at the top, paste plugins only, it will remove the plugins that were there but retain the instrument and retain the sends. Yeah, and that's how you do that. So there you go, you can have the Mastering Assistant plugin on any type of channel that you want. Uh, and that's how you do it. Please subscribe, notifications, check my channel, there's loads of good content on there, hundreds and hundreds of tutorial videos, and I'll see you for more videos soon.